how to make a classified ad website with WordPress. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a classified ad website right here on WordPress. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, as you can see, this is the WordPress right here. This is the website. And as you can see, I'm in the dashboard and you're going to have to sign into your WordPress account as well. And once you've signed into your WordPress account, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here down below into the left side. You're going to come over here into the plugin section and click on add new. And once you do that, it's going to take you over to the plugin store where we have to install two different plugins. First one is called Astra. If I search for Astra. As you can see, this is the website right here. Just simply install it and activate it. And once you've activated it, search for another website called Elementor. And once you've done that, as you can see, this is the other plugin that you need to install. Just simply click on install and activate and you're good to go. Next thing, what we're going to do is we're going to go over back to the plugin store to see the installed plugins. And over here, as you can see, I have my Elementor over here and I have my starter library over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on C library to see all of the templates and stuff like that. And over here, we're gonna see a lot of different templates. So this is what we're gonna do. We're going to choose a template and we can edit the template to our needs and then make a website rather than make a website from scratch because that takes quite a lot of time. I mean, you can do that, but you would need to know exactly what you are going with. So I would recommend it's better to, you know, start out with a template rather than, you know, go ahead and create one from scratch. It's better to have a template and then you can edit upon it, make some changes so you know what you're doing. It gives you a little bit of head start. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and click on online shop over here, find a store or something like that that we can use. So over here, as you can see, we have a bunch of different websites and we can choose this one. So we need to find an online product store or something like that, or we can find a website that can simulate that. So let me just take a look over here. So as you can see over here, let's just say this one right here, the organic store and find a theme that best suits your needs, you know, but if you don't find one, one other thing you can do is you can go over to like Google and find a theme for yourself. So I found this theme right here. Uh, it's called the Nexus Plus Classified Ads website template. All right, it basically simulates that and I have already downloaded it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one as well. So to use a template that you already have downloaded, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our admin, right? Back to our dashboard. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here into appearances and we're gonna click on themes. And we're going to add a new theme. We're going to click on add new. We're going to go ahead and upload a theme. All right. We're going to upload a theme. We're going to choose the file. And I already have it over here. Classified ads. Here we go. I'm going to choose this one. Click on open and click on install now. Wait a couple of seconds for it to be installed. All right. So as you can see, it's installing and it's unpacking, installing. Okay. So that theme did not install. Let me just go ahead and try another one. Um, I'll find another theme and I'll try to install that one, right? So, uh, instead of downloading a separate theme and installing it, I found a couple of themes right here on WordPress. So I just came over here in appearance, came to themes and I searched for these, right? So this one looks very similar to the type of website we're trying to create. So we'll just go ahead and preview this and see how it looks like. And yeah, we can use this. Yeah, I think this would go really, really well. So we'll just go ahead and click on install. All right, I think it's installed. Let me just go ahead and activate it as well. All right, so there we go. So it's activated. Now, if I go over here and visit my site, as you can see, this is how it looks like. So these are some of the ads and stuff like that. Now we can go ahead and edit it to properly match our needs. So over here, since we installed Elementor, we can go ahead and it edit this website using Elementor. So just simply click on edit with Elementor and we can go ahead and start editing our website. Wait a couple of seconds for the editor to load up and we can move on. As you can see, it's loaded up and this is how it looks like. So over here, we have a bunch of different options. So we have title over here. We can go ahead and change that. We have our home button over here. We have our sections over here that we can edit. So for example, if I wanted to edit this section, all I had to do was hover my mouse over it and I can go ahead and start editing this section. So over here, as you can see, if I wanted to, you know, edit this section, all I had to do was click on this and I have all bunch of different options over here. I can change the width of it if I wanted to, as you can see, uh, I can change the full width. I can change it. No gap. 
can make it like extended or wider you know vertical line bottom you know it all depends on us overflow could be hidden whatever you want you can do that and over here in style i can change like the effect of it right make it like a background and i can change the borders the shape dividers and stuff like that and advance i have a bunch of different options for example if i wanted to change this image i could do that as well all i had to do was select the image over here and choose my own over here in the media or in the free images it all depends on you so i'm just going to go ahead and choose this image right here click on next click on insert and boom there we go I, we have a little elon musk image so as you can see it's very easy it all depends on you so it's really fun it's really easy to use now once everything it looks good remember whenever you you know make a change on your website remember to just go ahead and click on update so that your changes is saved and if something happens like your computer shuts down or you lose the internet connection your changes will be saved you won't have to start all over again so make sure you do that so as you can see it's really fun it's really easy and you can go ahead and start editing it out as well and if you wanted to like add another section all you had to do was come over here on the left side and just simply drag and drop a section wherever you want it so as you can see this is how it looks like i could add everywhere and i could add like a video over here you know could maybe change this text up a little bit as you can see it's white i could maybe like you know uh change it up a little bit click on the edit button over here click on update and over here full length all right if I wanted to change this image i could just simply click on the edit button and over here just change the images it all depends on us and as i said before you can literally drop anything you want like if you wanted to add like a google location or something over here google maps boom there you go wait a couple of seconds after that just simply uh, enter in your button id and you're good to go so let me just go ahead and delete that actually so as you can see it's really fun it's really easy to use and once you have as i said before made your changes just simply click on update and you're good to go and once you've done your you know editing your website just come over here at the top left corner click on these three lines and just simply exit the dashboard and boom your website has been saved published done you won't have to worry about it that's how you basically create a website over on to wordpress and how you can edit it so having said that that is it for this video guys and if you liked this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and make sure to turn on your notification bell because if you do that not only will you be helping us out but you'll also be getting daily alerts of whenever we upload our videos we upload daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content so just make sure to hit the bell icon and uh, you'll be notified and you'll be able to consume your daily dose of tech videos and other gadgets and other tools that can help you run or scale your business so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye